The legend of Jack the Giant Killer was born more than a thousand years ago in Cornwall, England, near Land's End. There was a time when the kingdom of Cornwall lived in fear and trembling of the Black Prince Pendragon, master of all witches, giants, and hobgoblins who ravaged the land. But at long last, Perla the wizard drove Pendragon and all his witches from the kingdom and exiled them beyond the reaches of the known world. Here on a misty isle, Uncharted and unknown, Pendragon schemed and waited for the day when he would return to power in Cornwall. Then, after many years, the day came. It was a day of great rejoicing in Cornwall, and kings and princes bearing gifts came to celebrate a special occasion. Know then, Princess Elaine, that as you are, by the grace of God, the only child of our noble king. Therefore, I now place upon your head this ancient coronet of the House of Cornwall. May you wear it in honor as befits our future queen. Rise, Elaine. Trumpeters, proclaim the festivities. Let the bells ring. Health and happiness to the princess Elaine! May she live to be a hundred years! As the people of Cornwall celebrated, Pendragon arrived. <laughs> And now, the presentation of gifts. His Highness, Valon, Duke of Normandy. His Excellency, the Prince of Tarquin Isle, Elidorus. It is exquisite, King Meliodas. Elidorus? Know you this Prince Chancellor? Never have I heard the name, yet there's something faintly familiar if I can but recall. Your most gracious majesty, King Mark. I apologize for the lateness of my arrival. Prince Elidorus, I cannot seem to remember. When was it that we met? We never have, your majesty. Yet you honor my daughter's birthday? I have always admired the crown of Cornwall. Therefore, I took the liberty of bringing Her Royal Highness a small but unique gift. If you please, Ghana. Certainly, Master. Thank you, Prince. May I see what's inside? Allow me, Princess. Music box. He walks. Why, he could almost be alive. Venetian merchant of whom I acquired him spoke of a curious talent. Look, Father, what an unusual gift. I believe he wishes this dance. Certainly, my cavalier. You were wonderful. 
What an enchanting gift, Prince Elodorus. Enter. More gifts. Bring them over here. Put them on the table. Careful now. You were lovely today, Princess. Your father was proud of you. I think my father is slightly prejudiced. It was nice to be remembered by so many people. One day it'll be a crown you'll be wearing. The queen of a mighty kingdom. My father still has many good years ahead of him. I don't like to think about that day. Of course not. When you're young, it's only today that counts. Into bed with you. Good night, Princess. Sleep well, Lady Constance. Pity to shatter your innocent dreams, Princess Zelie, but the throne of Cornwall is to be mine, and only you can give it to me. and we'll meet you at the place appointed. Be assured, Master. All will be as you wish.
men, axes and pals. Guards in the hand. We can't let them out of our sight. It's been years since giants were banished. Why would they return now? Why? Come on, Jonathan, Tom. It's a beautiful day. to town, whether you like it or not. Now, come on, no more nonsense. Back. What's going on around here?
You dumb... You killed him. It was nothing. I kill a giant every morning before breakfast. Starts my day right. I think you better put this on. Farmer, have you seen the princess? Your Majesty. Kneel, girl, it's the king. The princess, Your Majesty? Lee, young man, be good enough to come down from there with my daughter. I'm sorry, princess, I didn't know. Well, young man? We mustn't keep the king waiting. has been mercy. Oh, Father, this is the young man who so bravely rescued me from the giant. Rise, my boy. Jack! Jack! Oh, Jack! You're safe. When I saw that horrible monster... Mother, this is the king. Your majesty. Rise, madam. Forgive me. I was so thankful to see my son alive. I'm so thankful to see my daughter alive. Oh, poor child. I have some hot porridge on the fire. She'll need warmth and rest before she returns to the castle. You've done a most remarkable deed, young man. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm proud to serve the king as my father did. Your father served the crown? Yes, in the royal archers. Well, he fell at the Battle of Land's End. A noble battle then, a noble battle now. Your father would have been proud of you this day. Come, let's have a look at your giant. Hideous creature. The boat, the strange boat that was taking the princess away. Hurry, Your Majesty. <laughs> There he is, the small black craft. And there was a strange, dwarf-like man, Your Majesty. The servant, Gardner. You know him, sire? I know him and his master. Disaster. The princess. Where is she? Cormoran is dead, slain by a young farmer. By now, the princess is back in her father's castle. Possible. You're lying. I tell the truth, master. I swear it. He took her from me at the boat and then killed the giant. I saw it with my own eyes. Wandering fool. A fury take you to your torments. All of you. I scheme a thousand nights. Put the princess in your very hands, and you, imbecile idiot, allow a mere farmer, a mortal, to defy me. We have failed, master. We have failed. But only for a moment. I shall have the princess, and the farmer shall die. By all the powers of darkness, he shall die. For returning to us the princess, alive and well, as by a miracle, and so delivering us from the ravages of our enemies, we dub thee Sir Jack, protector of the realm. Rise, Sir Jack. May you serve this court with honor, as did your father before you. So be it. So be it. Your Majesty. 
Your Majesty. What is it, Chancellor? We must talk privately at once. Can't it wait? This is very important. Very well. Attend, Sir Jack, daughter. I'll return presently. Congratulations upon your knighthood, Sir Jack. I'm so proud of you, Jack. Uh, Sir Jack, now. I'm honored to shake your hand, Sir At Jack. long last, a hero in the court who's young. And handsome. It's a bit warm here. Would you mind seeing me to the terrace, Sir Jack? Certainly, Princess. Thank you for rescuing me. You saved my life once, remember? Hail to Sir Jack! To Jack the Giant Killer! Hail, Hail to Jack! Jack. Rescuer has acquired a new name. I seem to have acquired more than a new name. It's a great honor. I hope I can be worthy of it. That's my father's way of thanking you. This is mine. I shall immediately go out and find another giant to slay. Before breakfast? Know also that these ageless giants with horns and satyr-like features who roam our Cornwall countryside destroy and plunder at the bidding of their master, Pendragon. These records were lost among the archives of your father's reign. I've only just uncovered them. Then this Prince Elidorus is really Pendragon in disguise. The Prince of Witches. But why would he want to seize the princess? Why? If we knew that, we'd know what to do. There's only one thing we can do. We were fortunate this time, but Pendragon is certain to make another attempt. I'm going to entrust you with the most important mission ever given to a Cornish knight, to protect the life of the princess until she's safe. I will certainly try to be worthy of your trust, sire, but is one guard enough? Well, our only defense is secrecy. There aren't enough men in all Cornwall to protect the life of the princess should her whereabouts become known to Pendragon. At dawn, you and Elaine, disguised as peasants, will travel to a convent in Normandy. When the princess is safely within its walls, you'll return here. That means I'm to live in exile. It won't be easy, Father. Believe me, Elaine, it's the only way. Very well, Father. I'm ready to do whatever is best. Go now. Prepare yourself for the journey. Good night, Father. Good night, my dear. We have plans to make. The dawn comes much too soon. <laughs> Better go now. It's getting late. Is there anything more I can do for you, mistress? No, nothing more, Lady Constance. I shall miss you. And I shall pray for your safe journey. We'll send word as soon as it's safe to return to Cornwall. Take care of her, Jack. No one will harm her while I live, Your Majesty. Patience, 
Patience. Patience. My straight and true God, our master will be most eager for your message. to visit us, eh, Gaunt? Bringing a little present. She sailed with the morning tide. What kind of a voyage is it to be, eh, Tubo? Smooth and tranquil? skies and the spanking breeze. No man could ask for better. I haven't seen Miss Elaine since mid morning Nor I. She's not in her cabin. Probably with the helmsman. Come on, mind the wheel, Jack. Peter! Hi, Father! Have you seen our lady passenger? Aye. She's here with me. Come up and lend a hand, lad. We've got a landfall to make. Aye, Captain. He's a fine lad, your son. That he is, and smart as paint. And he can haul a jib as proper as any man aboard. Here you are, son. Take over the helm. I'll get a bite to eat. Jack, you can give Miss Elaine her first glance of the continent. Thank you, Captain. Oh, you can see much better from up there, off the larboard. Helmsman, keep her teeth in the wind. Aye, Captain. I didn't realize we were so close to shore. This makes it even closer. Do you want to look? It's already too close. Soon I'll be in the convent and you'll be going back. I'll be alone. The sisters will take good care of you. It's been such a wonderful voyage, just the two of us. I wish I didn't have to go into hiding, but I could stay as a make-believe peasant girl. Wish I were a genie to make your wish come true. Suppose you were. What would you do? I would turn myself into a great prince, and I would search every farm and village of England until I found you. Then I would hold you and tell you that I love you. And? And I would answer that I love you. But it wouldn't be make-believe, Jack. Because it's true. And then we'd fly away in my magic carpet and live happily together forever after. Jack. All right, man. Hey. Mid-channel, there are no rocks here. Oh, hands, me too. Are you all right, lad? Hi. What are we hit? I don't know. Look at the sky. It's turning dark. We stop moving. It's unnatural. Captain, look below. We did. 
Witches! Witches!
us into adventureship. Captain! Back to England it is, lad. Make ready to come aboard. <laughs> Boston, I'm taking command of the ship. Oh, we are. You hear that, lads? Our passengers taking command of the ship. In his majesty's name. In his majesty's name. <laughs> <laughs> and where would our royal Idas wish us to save? We're it? going to save the girl. His majesty can have this blasted tub as soon as we're safe ashore at Cornwall. As for me, I'll not sail in the wake of those accursed witches. Yeah. Turn to! We're coming about! <laughs> Listen, you men! Sail to England and you'll all swing from the gallows! Elaine is the royal princess of Cornwall. Aye, and I'm the caliph of Baghdad. Grab <laughs> <laughs> him, throw him overboard. Over the side. the eye of ancient Egypt. Maruma Barabbas Urdat. Maruda Maroya Garat. Awake, princess of Cornwall. Open thy eyes. Gaze deep within the sacred orb of Egypt. Bathe your innermost soul in the magic flame. blood in your veins intermingle with the blood of the ancient spirits of the dark netherworld. Mm. 
Behold yourself in the mirror. Now are you one of the misty coven of witches? of his exalted majesty, King Mark of Cornwall is now in session. Let the stranger approach the throne. Pendragon. You dare to come here? God! I detect a chill in your hospitality. But perhaps your majesty does not wish to hear of the whereabouts of the royal princess. He couldn't possibly know about Elaine. Approach the throne. Thank you, your majesty. Speak forth, black prince. I merely wish to inform your majesty that your daughter did not reach the convent as you planned. What have you done with her? Where is she? Only I know that. I don't believe you. You're lying. You think so? No. Elaine. Elaine. Do you really think I am so stupid as to bring the girl herself? That illusion was merely to prove to you that I have her in reality. My daughter? Is she safe? Perfectly, at my castle. What is it that you want of me? My terms are simple. Merely that you abdicate within a week. You may take your chancellor and any aids that you require and leave England never to return. But who will rule my country, govern my people? You? <laughs> On the contrary. The next in legal succession will ascend the throne. Her coronation will take place immediately after your abdication. You mean my daughter will become queen? You see, my terms are generous, are they not? With you by her side to advise her. That may be as may be. You have one choice to make, King Mark. Your daughter or your throne. In a week I shall return for your answer. You hold my daughter, witch. But we hold you! Seize him! One week, King Mark, no more. <laughs> what do you know about plans? Outside of the two of us. Lady Constance. Except for the princess and Jack, only we three knew we were sending Elaine away. Surely you don't think it was I. Look into that mirror. No, no. According to legend, if you're a witch, the mirror will reflect your true soul. All right. It was I who told the master. <laughs> Break the mirror! Break the spell! <laughs> Do not blame you, Constance. Forgive me. We pity you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
All of it. <coughs> it's good, Sigurd, after it's down. Now, we were trying to remember if you'd ever seen these witches. Oh, the witches. Uh, I sailed these waters under Eric the Red. Sailed in 50 ships, we did. To conquer Ireland. Oh, it was wonderful. The fighting, the plundering. Yes, but did you ever see the witches? Oh, the witches, the witches. Mm, these all eyes have seen many strange sights. Once, when Eric the Red and I were sailing south, we saw a school of dragons in the sea. Yes, but these witches were in the sky, and their leader had three horns on his head. And he carried a pitchfork. A pitchfork? That shot blue flames. Blue flames. Sounds like Tubo the Warlock to me. Ten dragons witch from across the sea. Yeah. What was that? The imp of the bottle. I fished him up in my nets one day. He claims to have great powers. But he will do nothing for me. Have a care. Just a moment. You ugly, mean devil, couldn't you wait? I ask for nothing. And nothing you'll get, you murderous Viking. Me power's reserved for one to me liking. A little toy man. Insulting a leprechaun. A toy, you say? Oh, for that there'll be the devil to pay. Now, hush your been listen. Gak here is a good and true lad with, with a just cause. There's a princess to be rescued from the witches, and I need help. A noble aim, if spoken true. Pick up the bottle. I dare you to. A caution. If you've told a lie, the glass will blow and your hand will fry. Faith that after a thousand years, at last an honest man appears. Have you been in there that long? He was imprisoned by the King of Elves for dabbling in the black arts. I'd finished me work. My shoes healed and so. All I did was to make me these boots out of gold. Not just boots. Seven league boots. Made out of your own pot of gold, you baboon. To go around the world and over the moon. You'll help me then? These magic coins will aid your mission. If you'll agree to one condition, when they're gone, there are only three, you'll smash the glass and set me free. It's a bargain, then. Or, as Island will say, as a twist pen dragon's tail, and the princess will say from that horrible knave, I'm off on a fling, I'll get out of this thing, a free man of the Ochrandura Trandy. <laughs> Here, thanks to the imp. Now to find out where he's hiding Elaine. You think it's wise for you to go alone? I think there's less chance of being discovered. Suppose you're caught, Jack. We'll see if our little friend here is as good as he says he is. Who will let you safely cross the brain? You do your part, I'll do mine. Uh, I put my trust in that sword. We'll see.
Remember to put some fresh water aboard. Be careful, Jack. Good luck! don't often have visitors. The clever lad, how would he fare, do you suppose, against our castle's defenses? <laughs> it would be a most diverting spectacle to see. Fight them? A born to fight their magic might. A born to get a feral fight. Don't be asking questions, Dunce. Seize the bone. No, at once. Thanks, him. Thank me later on the ship. Right now, get cracking with that whip. Sorts of things. He must be dealt with differently.
Enter, lad, enter. Welcome to Castle Pendragon. I had a sample of your welcome outside. I must compliment you on your valor, young man. First you vanquished Cormoran, my giant. Then you found your way to this island, a feat in itself. And just now, you lashed at and destroyed my dragon men with your magic whip. A stroke of genius. A real tragedy to have come so far. Only to suffer failure. You're so sure I have failed? I am, indeed. For, you see, if you take one step toward me, horns will sprout from your head. A second step, and you will develop cloven hooves and walk on all fours. A third step, and the transformation will be complete. You will have become a black rat. So, you see? Your sword can be an antidote to giving you a cashmere coat. Hold it for you as you go. Hilt above and point below. No horns. Let us dispense with theatricalities. My powers are obviously completely without effect against your own. Therefore, I yield to the inevitable. I'm curious. How do you acquire such potent force, the princess? She is not here. Produce her or die. She is not in the castle. Then where? On the... Other side of the island, there are the ruins of a little Roman temple. She is imprisoned there. Have her brought to me at once. If you wish to free the princess, you must go there. How do I know I can trust you? Aren't we rather forced to trust each other? There seems no other way. Very well. But make no attempt to trick me. Your magic. What's happening? Princess! Part of my way, you yelping dogs, and let me think. Never have I failed to turn a mere mortal into a cringing beast, but he was able to withstand the strength of my magic. It was the sword, Master, the burning sword. It was not only the sword, you fool. Have you forgotten the magic whip? He has a strange power. Perhaps some ancient talisman of the black arts. We must find the secret to this power. 
Perhaps I can help. He doesn't know I'm one of you. Perhaps you can. Ghana. Yes, Master. Take her to the ruined temple. Yes, Master. There. You will appear to him as the Princess Elaine. You're safe now. Dear Jack, I prayed you'd come. I have a boat on the beach waiting to take us back to England. Can you walk? I'll be all right. is gone. They must still be looking for water. Well, they'll be returning soon. I'd better make ready to sail. I never thought I'd see you again, Jack. Or that I'd ever leave this island alive. We had the luck of the Irish on our side. Surely it would take more than luck to defeat dragon. Luck and the secret of my magic weapon. You mean this? A sword? No. That's just Sigurd's rusty old blade. I was talking about my friend. The imp of the bottle. He's a leprechaun. Imprisoned in the bottle by a magic spell. We both owe him everything. Such pretty words, you better stay till we are safe and far away. Is there something wrong, Princess? I guess so. Being chained out there for so long, I, I'm cold. We can wait in the cabin. This will warm you. Is there anything? Some hot tea to drink? Well, this brew of cigars isn't exactly fit for a princess, but oh, it is warming. I'll pour it. Get another cup, Jack. We'll drink together to our escape from this island. That I will gladly do. I wish Peter were here to celebrate with us. Yes, and Sigurd, too. We will like him. Thank you, princess. To a safe voyage home. And to us. To a happy future. You and I together, Jack, for the rest of our lives. To us. To us. All right, to us. to feel happy at a time like this, but, but when we sit... What's the matter, Jack? I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly I feel strange, as if we're going to... Yeah.
stands between me and the throne of Cornwall. Where is he? You have great magic powers. Find him yourself. Yes, I will. Only twice in my existence have I been thwarted. Once by Hurla the wizard, and this second time by you. Hurla is dead. Yes, and I will die too, rather than betray my king. I shall hope to make you change your mind. Ghana? Yes, master. <laughs> Where is the imp? Release the Viking! I am afraid you are not sufficiently impressed on your first visit. I'll give you a new demonstration of my powers. What do you suppose would be most fitting? A serpent? Or perhaps a toad? Or would you prefer to tell me where you have hid the imp? Your loyalty to your king is touching. But your allegiance to the princess is another matter. You have have until these sands run out to convince your knight that he is being most unwise. Donna, I advise you, consider carefully. Please, Jack, tell him where you hid the imp. You've got to, to, to save us all. Is that why you drugged me, to get the imp? I did it to save your life. He threatened to kill you if I refused. He was watching every move. He'll kill you now if you don't tell him where you hid the imp. Then I'll have to die because I don't know where the imp is. You really don't know? It's the truth, Princess. I don't know. You were a fool to come here, Jack. Your fate was sealed the moment you stepped foot on this island. The only thing that kept you alive was the imp. As soon as the master returns, you die, all of you. Princess, you were bewitched. Don't break the mirror before it's too late. Break the spell he cast over you. Untie me, help me before it's too late. And what would you save me from, Prince Charming? My reflection? Look at me. Gaze upon my true self. Am I not beautiful? Why be the Princess of Cornwall when I can be Queen of all England? 
Think of it. How exciting. A witch on the throne of England. <laughs> I forgot. Pity you won't be there. the boat. those rocks. safe in here. Not at high tide.
Peter, give it to me quick. Hurry, Hemp, your last good deed. Do it now. Please, hurry. Beware of her. She'll change her features like she did those other creatures. She was under Pendragon spell, but it's broken now. Hurry, your magic! In all the kingdom under the sea, there's just one creature might set you free. Well, throw the coin, call him. Help us just once more. Oh, I would if I could, but you've had your three. Look at me purse, it is empty, see?
Come on. Come on. Sink her. Restored too. When you killed Pendragon, it broke the spell over us. And, and look at his castle, destroyed forever. You'll find dry clothes in the cabin. Just a minute. I have a promise to fulfill. You got a hammer? Here, see? Be careful, don't hurt him. Will you be still and calm your fears? I've been waiting 10 hundred years. Now watch the glass. Just a minute, have a care. The bottle, turn it. Give me air. Sorry, I was only. Never mind the lame excuse. Break the glass and then let me loose. <laughs> and bend, thanks to you, my noble friend. For you, Elaine, some sound advice. Opportunity knocks, but never twice. So if it's happiness you'd woo, marry Jack. He's the lad for you. <laughs> I intend to. The little people are waiting for me in Ireland there, across the sea. Oh, it is a beautiful place. The fairest affair. And me seven league boots will get me there. So, bless you all and have no fear. Your course for home will soon be clear. He's gone. What did he mean about our course? Look! Over there in the sky! Follow the rainbow to its end. Goodbye, Goodbye, Ian. Ian. Good luck. He was a loyal friend. I miss him. Uh, come, boy. We must get on our course. <laughs> she knows an answer to the helm very well. Oh, she will do to get us back to England. To England.